I want to bring him. I want to bring him. Oh, you want to you want to finish the job? Yeah. Oh well. I think Monster Kid took the hint. I think he probably did. Yeah. What? What do you call it? No, really, the really tough boss fight made me made me kind of embrace the run a little more now. (laughs) Determination (laughs) is right. I think I'm trying to think. So, well, 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 I guess it's later, but. I will say, maybe I'll talk about it when we, if we go all the way to that point with the stream, I'll talk about it. But that that fight that you're mentioning, it mm. was harder. It was hard? It was harder. Oh. I played it. <laughs> I think it took me like six hours plus to get through it. And that was like, you know, very concentrated. I mean, I'm not a bad video game player by any means. <laughs> not oh, do you mean bad. Undyne or? No, 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 later, later on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me like... I think it was like two and a half hours. I actually got mad and started streaming because I needed someone else to see me get mad. Like I needed someone else to scream. To, I needed someone else to be like watching and be like, "This is bullshit, right?" And then everyone's <laughs> like, "Yeah, that's kind of bullshit." And I was like, "Thank you." <laughs> so I just needed validation. Ah, uh, little creature. I'll feast. Oh, wow. Let's see. Well, you were killing people? She was watching anime. I mean, helping people. <laughs> How sassy. <laughs> Stars. Oh, wow. It's interesting, too, to see Metaton, like, run away from you and stuff, because he is a killer He's... robot otherwise. I mean, he was literally invulnerable when you, like, tried to fight him before, so... Yeah. Oh, apparently I can examine the hole. I mean, you can examine everything. The text yeah. is like I think seriously every single interactable object mm-hmm. has like it's it's bordering on every single like object has different text now. Let's see. Uh Yeah, this is, so let's see. There's that looks the same. Ooh, chainsaw. Yeah. Yes. Let's see here. I will say I did kill, feel bad about killing Froggit, though. I think he's my favorite. It's just trying to tell you how to give mercy. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. It, it took me like a solid minute and a half of petting before I could bring myself to kill Lesser Dog. <laughs> it's really hard. You yeah. got do it. That's the word. You pet him and then you killed him? I could not not pet the dog. Are I'm you... not a monster. I'm just no. a monster. That's the most <laughs> monstrous. You, you let his cards down. You, you... I at least <laughs> let him be happy once. I gave him inspiration and joy one last time. Close his hopes. Disarmed And then them. Washua. Washua is really hard to kill because I love Washua. Washua okay. makes me laugh so hard every time. Wash you face. <laughs> Just, your soul isn't clean. Oh, no, even Washua hates me. <laughs> <laughs> Washua knows. Oh, good old magma chamber and the puzzle I overthought. Oh, hey, Sunderplane. Oh, no. What do you say, idiot? <laughs> I- I- idiot. <laughs> I like the way to resolve this peacefully, too. <laughs> You approach, you have to get close, but not too close. <laughs> and that's what you actually do in the dodging section. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh so I, always, I always spared Thunderplane. Oh, <laughs> even the lasers are off, they're just like, doesn't, doesn't even want to waste the time. No. Just getting in the way of the evacuation, man. Gotta get everybody the hell out of there. Yes. Oh, I reactivated, I see. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> Damn, I wonder if I'm even gonna see Alphys in this run now. I would guess not, but... I think anyone who's smart in this world at this point Ooh. is just like, I, we are getting away. Sure you will, boys. <laughs> you don't have your <laughs> A relationship destroyed in two attacks. How could you? I'm pretty sure. Sh- oh, uh, yeah. Like the, you can kill, you know, obviously either one first. And yeah. the, what they say is so 
Ah. Uh. I noticed that with the dogs that were in love, if you kill the one on the right, the other one won't fight you anymore. Yeah, you, you break his heart. Yeah, that's yes. right. My OTP, I, someone says in chat. I mean, oh, those, I, I, I'm glad you brought that up, because those two dogs, like, all it does is do a, a slightly different animate. Like, it does an animation, a battle animation. Right. And it's like, oh. <laughs> like, what did I do? Like, what did yeah. Oh, wow, and all the floors are open, too. One other detail I like is that they have pictures on their shirts of the other, but you can't see that unless you kill them. <laughs> because their axes normally block it. <laughs> oh, they, they are Nose Nuzzle Champs, you know, runner-ups. So, yeah, Wait, second place. Is this the bridge I want to kill everybody on? Because, uh... No, it's in the core. Like, you have to go through the hotel first. Yeah, oh, that's the path okay. of the warrior that you're thinking of. You got gotcha. plenty of time. Right, cool. Spider donuts. Spider. I'm surprised you can't steal those. Uh, buy a spider donut 999. No. Huh. Well, see, it's it's made of spiders, so you need spiders to for the raw materials. Ah. That's why you can't just steal it straight up. Like, there's no spiders left to make it. Mm-hmm. And I can go straight through now, too, because this puzzle is non-existent in this run. Yeah. Um, another interesting thing about the Muffet fight that I really, really like. Um, so once you know her motivations, right, she just wants spider capitalism to thrive. Mm -hmm. You know, that's her thing. So if you get into that fight with her later on and, like, yeah. eat a pastry that you had bought from the ruins, right? she'll recognize that snack. She'll just be like... Oh, hey, oh, you must have stolen that, you know, because obviously she doesn't think you came from the ruins, but she's just like, oh, you stole that. I'll show you what we do to thieves. And then immediately one of the tiny little spiders runs up and like hands her a memo that's like, no, he actually bought that. And she's like, oh, OK. Hey, oh, wait. thanks for supporting the cause. All right. See you. That's, <laughs> um, that's how my really fight passionate. ended with the memo. That's I guess I did that. Well, um, it, the memo comes no matter what after a certain oh, period of time say, yeah. on Mercy. But if you eat, like, a spider donut in front of her, it happens immediately. Like, you can end the fight turn one. Oh, yeah. That. The Muffet fight is actually pretty challenging for people first getting there if you don't mm -hmm. do that. Oh, that's that's the other great thing about this game. Every boss battle brings a unique mechanic with it. Oh, Muffet, damn. Oh, no. Not oh. this one, though. <laughs> oh... <laughs> oh. yeah. Gets worse. Oh. Oh. oh! Twist that fucking knife, Toby. Holy shit. <laughs> if you have not played this game yet, leave and go play this game. Yeah, don't. Um, Cuz this is this is like the run that you do last yeah, don't, this, don't, is, this is post the... post game don't yeah do not yeah, watch, do not like, watch I hate this to drop viewership but go <laughs> please drop it's fine. speaking as somebody kind of involved with the game please just you know you want to enjoy the game kind of fresh don't yeah don't watch this, this is not here. this is not for you the game's for you the game is for you just not this uh let's see here so this is the hotel oh What's this here? Hey, go up the creepy alleyway for some great deals. What's going to change here, I wonder? Oh. Ha! <laughs> I love stealing as an option. Oh, wow. Empty gun. I'll, I'll take the key, and I'll take the gun, and I'll take the cowboy hat. I'll take junk food, too. And I'll steal 5G. And... <laughs> it's really impressive how they write on both sides of the same paper. <laughs> Gotta use these gel pens. God, it's so. Cr I love how everything has changed. What's up the left side of the? Oh, oh nothing. Just the wall. Just the wall. Is anybody even in here? Right, still got 30, yeah. Thirty-five left. 
in a playthrough with a lot of really creepy stuff going on, one of the creepiest to me was in the first few areas of a Snowden, mm -hmm. there's a snowball. And if you look at it in a normal playthrough, it goes, this is a snowball, actually a snow decahedron. And oh, yeah. if you look at it, if you look at it in genocide, it's it's just a snowball. <laughs> yeah. That like when I saw that, I was like, oh, <laughs> this is going to go in some some sad places. Because <laughs> it's like all the stuff that was kind of like the fun, you know, what the whimsical yeah. fun has been sucked out. Yeah, and, and you're just joyless and unimaginative. Or I guess not real joyless is maybe not right, but the stuff <laughs> you find joy in. Um, um, well, I mean, when Sans first gets you with the whoopee cushion, he just straight up says, just like, yeah, that's a cute laugh or emote at all that, <laughs> you know, all right, or not. All right. See ya. After that, it's like, if you could just keep pretending to be human, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind. I mean, I, I, I get it, but maybe for my brother, if you could pretend, I'd really appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, that's weird that so, this guy is here. Uh, you should talk to this guy. Shot. Oh forever. god, yeah. Yeah, talk go through all of his dialogue because it's amazing. Uh Burger Pants is so good. Burger Pants. <laughs> uh so what if everybody Oh, I see he didn't know about <laughs> Yeah, I like Burger Pants. It's amazing for like just a shopkeeper you can completely ignore. Never look <laughs> at his text. He has so much going on with him. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <I love that> <laughs> this guy is like, this is the super relatable, you know, modern dude. You know, you feel this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go to hell. Oh, out of vacation days. <laughs> so, that oh, restaurant right. there is the best viable healing stuff in the game. Yeah. So you probably want to stock up on your legendary heroes and the face steak, which you can only buy one of. Uh, yep. What is the mystery and for? I forget. That's uh, for a house back in Waterfall. And it's just flavor stuff, so you don't have to, like, hold it on you or anything. Gotcha. Uh, Alright, so let's get rid of the ballet shoes now that I have the empty gun. Uh, junk food, junk food, junk food. Uh, junk food didn't really even heal me much, so... Nah. Yeah. You wanna... You wanna get that steak? You wanna get the glam burgers, I think? No, not the, the legendary heroes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this guy just doesn't give a shit. It's like, yo, oh, whatever, you weird ass little kids see. Uh... <laughs> Why do I always get the freaks? <laughs> all right, 35 left. Save. Uh, all right, let's go through the hotel to the core. Is this the bridge? To no, I'm still good, right? No, yep. no, no. It, you, oh, we'll tell you. We'll right, tell you. Thanks. thanks. Is there a way yeah, to do this faster? I, I vaguely remember seeing somebody say there's like a good spot for what you need to do here. Yeah. Hey, why are you going to the puzzles, man? You, oh, that's you right. Don't need yeah. to. You're that's already right. done. Hmm, how we do things. Also, I, I don't know if you caught it earlier, but in Snowden. Okay, so this is the room. Uh, yeah. If you run around on that bridge, yeah. you'll get like three of encounters pretty quickly. Gotcha. Cool. So we got 35 to go. Astigmatism. Ooh. But don't get too foolhardy because some of these encounters can actually kill you. Oh. Oh. It is. End game enemies. Damn. It hits, it hits hard, but it's like tricky to aim yeah. and such. Alright. There's a lot. Final frog. Yet. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. That's Whoa. entirely the wrong verb for this. Pray? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey now, final froggit. <laughs> I love that final. <laughs> the curve. Damn. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that was one good thing. Speaking of things that uh, a lot of people haven't found yet. So after I did my things and decided, okay, you know what, I did a couple of runs. Like I did one after the run you're doing right now. Um, I decided, sure, let's let's just mess some stuff up real bad. So I went and messed with the game's files, as you do uh, mm -hmm. when you're a jerk. Not like data mining, though, just like kind of randomly changing numbers yeah, sure. as a joke. Yeah. yeah. Um, one that of the best well is if program. you just completely, if you completely like mess everything up to the point that I'm not sure exactly what triggers it, but I'm pretty sure it's just like if you try and do something totally illegal and like load the game into some place that makes no sense. Mm -hmm. um, it just pops up with a little of like Toby's dog avatar just dancing, doing a little dog song, and that's all it does. <laughs> <laughs> it just won't do anything oh, yeah. else. <laughs> There's, and then like I did it a different way, and it was him like lying on the ground, just kind of snoring, and that's all it would do. Nothing else. It's great. There's all sorts of different modes for if you try and cheat the game different ways, it will catch you different ways. I wonder how many kinds of dog there are in Cheaterland. That's yeah. There's definitely. There's definitely a guard dog that protects some of the stuff going on in this game from, from nosy people. It's not perfect, of course, and people are mm -hmm. doing a lot of uh, crazy stuff, which is funny. It's funny to see, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, when I, so I was testing and I, may, I might have tried to do some of that stuff. And I actually, I, I saw some stuff that people were kind of noticed, like there, some, some weird stuff. And I was like, oh, T Toby <laughs> is bullshitting the hell out of me. <laughs> but I'll let it go. You know, I, somebody else is going to have a great time figuring out what the hell is going on. And, yeah, there's... You know, there's... Without saying anything about it, there is a lot of stuff people have not yet discovered about the game. Mm -hmm. And I'm really interested to see where that goes. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's... Really, it's not about what actually is in there, what, you know, where things end up. It's just mysteries and games. Yeah. I think that's the thing with Toby and with a lot of game devs. It's like... Being able to maintain a mystery, you can't keep it forever, that's impossible, no. not today. But like, making it so people honestly think, at least for a little while, who knows what's going on in the game. Making right. someone who is like a tester, you know, like me, I have no, no idea what's going on. That's so, <laughs> like it's, it's exciting. It really is, I totally get, I totally feel you on that. And yeah, like you said, like nowadays too, like every like kind of surprise and things just gets like ruined almost immediately. You know what I mean? Like people are tweeting about yeah. it and things like that. Right. But it's just nice too. Like it seems like a lot of people do have a sort of respect for Undertale in a way where they don't like go out of their way to spoil things or anything like that. You know what I mean? I think it's a part, partly it's earnest. It's like, it's a really earnest game, but also Toby, I think has been like, earnestly going to people who are being maybe a little bit too nosy and be like, you know, I understand. Maybe, you know, just for now, if you find something really cool, just keep it to yourself for a bit. I think mm -hmm. that's what he's been, like, he's he's active. He's a very, he's busy for a reason. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So I, people are still going to do it, but it has, people have been pretty good about stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he even seems to, like, encourage some things, too. Like, uh, at one point, there was a like something had been found via data mining and they like asked him about it and I think they asked, you know, like, hey, can I ship? Like someone came to him, first of all, that says volumes, I think, that someone came and asked him like, hey, is it okay if I show this? Sure. Yeah. Like, that's huge, first of all, that he went to the dev. Like, Binding of Isaac, that wouldn't have happened. They'd be like, here's how you get the fucking lost. Fuck you, Ed McMillan! <laughs> just <laughs> throw the date out the window. <laughs> but like, no, they came to Toby and asked and he's just like, oh yeah, as long as it's in the context of the game, don't just like drop a spreadsheet on people. Yeah, uh, sure. it was yeah, really good, really good so far. I and mean, yeah, gotta, people have been. It was like five days until someone even thought about data mining the game. <laughs> well, you have to think like so. Secrets are put into games because people they devs want them to be found. They want them to be found in the like from the game. They want the mystery to happen. Yeah. So there is an issue where sometimes some of the mysteries that he did want people to see weren't happening for a reason. So he's like, no, you're you know that's. That's supposed to be there. That's an issue that is an issue. And you're absolutely right. That's cool. Like, you know, that's awesome that you saw this and came to me. You know, that that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of stuff. There might be some things you want to hide, try to hide forever. And it's cool whenever it does come out. But you want, when you make content, you want people to see it if they deserve it. You want people to earn the content. So it's like yeah. a mix. Like, I think it was it Edmund with Binding of Isaac that was kind of being super protective. Like, he didn't want to want people data mining. Like, yeah. It's a, it's a balance. Like you, 
you have to look at it like people really want to see your content. They want to see everything about your game. They want to they want to live and breathe your game if they really love it a lot. Mm -hmm. So them searching for it any means possible. If you don't give them like a a reasonable means to do it, they're gonna right, do it for the scam. Yeah, that's why I've already started bit. It's selling so hard. the bootleg under like t Undertale T-shirts. I already have the <laughs> Etsy store. It's great, unlicensed and everything, because I don't want to share it. Fifty dollars. <laughs> no, but um. No, it's so cool, yeah. Hey, somebody said uh, Undertale's fans are really nice. I've been just blown away by the general positivity. Like, I don't, I think a lot of it, after you play through the game, you're like, maybe I should try not being an asshole for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I think that helps a lot with the mentality of people <laughs> coming off of this game. This is a big social, this is the game to fix the internet. More or less. <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't think, I don't know if that's possible. I don't think that is possible, but if it can maybe help it for a little bit, that's yeah. something really cool. You know, that's, this, is, this game can make you emotional. This game can make you really kind of realize that maybe, maybe you're not the best person. You know, maybe, maybe you should think about what you do in general. <laughs> and like, I, yeah. fucking hats off to <laughs> Totally the fact that this off. is his first, like, proper... <laughs> How the fuck did he do it?! How the fuck did he do it?! <laughs> I know. Jesus Christ! We were, so, I'm in a group of game devs, you know, SA game dev people. How the fuck did he do it?! We're blown away! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Attempt one. <laughs> well... In attempt... Well, yeah, I know. You know he's, he's, he's not... He has experience. He did Earthbound Hacks. He So, part of the reason he's probably so good at doing some general stuff with this game is because... He was able to withstand hacking Earthbound and getting shit working in that that Ooh. crazy fucking engine. Yeah, right. Because wow. that doesn't have any readily available tools compared it's to all something like stuff. Mario World. All fan stuff, you know. And Earthbound, you know, beyond just it being fan stuff, made to help you hack this game. It is crazy. There's nightmare stories from the dev saying, you know, this was a nightmare project. We did what we had to do. Iwata, I believe, he mm -hmm. saved Earthbound. Because its mm -hmm. coding was a mess, and he right. did whatever it had to do to just get to it, get it to work. So wow. that is not an easy structure to modify in a massive way. It I've is heard, not extendable. I've heard too, like the Super Nintendo is a particularly hard architecture to do, like hacks for and everything too. They just did like, so I'm, many crazy tricks, you know, for any Super Nintendo game. Super Nintendo, yeah, yeah. Earthbound is on top of that. You know, so he, well, like, he did, like, one of the better hacks for that game. He, if there's a way that you can cleverly use a system, like, if there's limitations that you can push against, he will push against them. <laughs> and that is so cool. Yeah, this is definitely another one of the games I kind of, I put this on my list of when people claim Game Maker or, like, Unity are to blame for games, like, bad games. <laughs> this is just kind of, like, added to that list of, like, uh, Game Maker's bad. I'm just like, oh, let me tell you about Undertale. Uh, and just kind of yeah. drop it on the table casually and walk away. <laughs> Game Maker, if they don't just like slap Undertale on whatever, like however they try to sell their engine, if they don't just slap this on their website and be like, yeah, well, look what you can do. They are crazy. <laughs> and it's engines. Every project probably has a best engine for it. What you need to do, what you want to do, and what is most conducive to what you do want to do for a game project, that's what determines what engine you should use. Right. This mm -hmm. new Toby knew the limitations of Game Maker. He knew how to use it well, and it was the correct choice. So far, you know, there's stuff that he could do to extend it, but it it seems like a right choice for what he wanted to do. Different mm -hmm. projects, you know, Unity is the right choice for a lot of projects. UE4 is the right choice for a lot of projects. You gotta, you can't just say, oh, it's in this engine. That's that's going to yeah. cause the trouble. Right, it's what yeah. the dev wants to do, and if they know how to use what they have intelligently. Wow. Not to get some dev talky stuff. I'm not, I'm not even much of a no, dev. No, I think, I think pretty much every person into video games likes devs talk. Of course. Like, as as long as you make a good game out of it, oh. like, who who actually gives a shit what engine it's done of course. with? Right. Oh, there are people, and they're trash. Oh. Oh yeah, there are people, that's true. Honestly, me and other devs were worried because this game, I don't know if you noticed, it's, I don't know if I should even say this, this is kind of a, a red mark. It's locked I think 30 FPS. 30 FPS. Yeah. I, all right, oh. listen, I gotta tell you something, okay? Because I have this friend who's very big on 60 FPS. <laughs> you may have heard of him, you know, he's kind of fit. What's, what's his IQ? 
He has a high IQ, admittedly. No, and I seriously, I, I am, fr I'm friends with him, and I seriously tell him you have to play this, you have to play it, da da da. And then finally he's like, 30 FPS, and I'm like, motherfucker, I insist, and I couldn't believe like this is a private conversation, like it's not even an act he puts on. God damn it. I know. And but he's fine. <laughs> yeah. The, one of the big problems with people in games, but in all creative stuff and all sort of things, they get mm. stubborn. They, you know, yeah. 60 FPS is great. I love 60 FPS. Some games need it. You have to have it. There's so many games that don't. So many games that, the worst, the absolute worst. If you've ever played Samaros, if you've ever played Botanicula, games that I really like for a lot yeah. of reasons, they're locked at 24 FPS because they're going for an aesthetic. That aesthetic is entirely dependent on a filmic look for 24 FPS. If right. you complain about it not being 60 FPS, you're goddamn crazy! You don't know what it's- it doesn't really hurt! It's only bad! And you just- just real like you know it's fine this this is an fps make it 60 fps you know you know the, this you know the, there's so many good targets for that sort of complaint like there's so many games that should but when you say oh yeah. this is objective this is this game should be 60 fps because all games should be <laughs> that is so dumb you shoot yourself in the foot I've Not actually seen people say, oh, well, it runs at 60 FPS, but the engine's really good. I mean, I could probably run it at 120. And I just, like, threw my hands up in the air and walked oh. out of the room and just, like, <laughs> fell to the ground and rolled away. I was just like, no, get I out. Don't, I don't <laughs> want to think these people are crazy uh, monsters. Because I, I don't think they are. But you got to have some you know, rationality. you got to look at the grand scheme of things and also look at the games. They're you not, know what it is, though? This game... Yeah. This game is really good. 30, I mean, 30, 60, not making a difference on your enjoyment of this game. No. There's, I think, like, for some of the, for some, some of the company, some of the AAA companies out there and stuff, they do do this 30, 60 thing a little dishonestly where they say, like, we're going to, you know, raise graphical fidelity at the expense of the frame rate so we have good magazine pictures and still shots on websites and things There's like that. Problem. There's yeah. sure. There's lots of games that are 30 FPS and their gameplay, they should be 60 FPS. Console Absolutely. games especially. They Absolutely. they go for that, you know, they go for 30 FPS, really nice graphics, really nice shaders. Right. You know, we know why they do it. It's not a good choice. Yeah, and they'll, and they'll say things like, oh, it's cinematic, even though that would be 24. So I, I get yeah. that kind of thing, right? You know? That's that, perfectly that's... fine. I, if a game does that, go for it. You know, that's, the gameplay is act like, I could tell this gameplay would be better if I was hitting 60 FPS. That's really good. You know, go for right. it. Oh, don't... Determination, by the way? Yes. Okay, good. Oh, also, yeah, like I probably last snow for FPS discussion, but uh, if you want to see a really funny video of that Nuclear Throne, uh, Rami made a build at 60 mm -hmm. FPS because the streamer was talking about <laughs> it so much how he wanted it, and it was in Game Maker. So the whole game ran at double speed, <laughs> and it couldn't be turned down because so many things are locked yeah. to frame rate just right. by all the way the system works. All animation. So it, yeah, so it was just fucking hilarious watching it all just run at double speed and go all crazy, and they're just like, "Oh god, okay, never mind, I want 30. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a 60 FPS build of Undertale, and uh, <laughs> don't want that. Okay, it's not what you want. It, you know, things are locked in some game engines, you know, and it's even if they're not locked, it's hard depending <laughs> on how you program. But don't worry about it. Just enjoy the game for what it is, please. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I look forward to this fight. Oh, that is a Neo. His battle body. <laughs> Whoa. Sets you up, knocks you down. <laughs> Time for a really good fall, crap. <laughs>